Utopians and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Looks like we're giving uh, the rams some bedding this morning so we'll go into this pen and have a look. First we got Scotty sitting here on the bales watching the whole operation. Dogs find this quite exciting but uh, not it usually in here with the rams while we're doing that so we don't want any dogs to get hit. Now he's gonna empty out some of the old uh, basically just sticks that were left from that bale. stay outside all year round here but we give them some uh, warm bedding for in the cold weather and uh, there is a roof over their head and back there there's a little place where they can go into if it's it's really bad weather but they they don't go in there an awful lot they're quite comfortable here and this is a south facing area so when it's sunny, uh, it's actually quite uh, toasty over here. So this is how we put bales in the uh, round feeders out for the rams. That's a feeder that Arnie made himself. We reconfigured the feeder because uh, we didn't like the ones that you bought. Um, we always say to put uh, the round bales on their flats because otherwise it's too hard for the sheep to pull the hay off and eat. This way when you cut those strings off, the outer rounds just fall off nicely so that they can eat well. This is the pen of our own breeding rams, plus uh, some yearling rams that we have for sale. And what kind of hay are you feeding to these rams? Are you going to leave that gate open? Yeah. I'm going to hopefully walk away and not come back. Yeah, that's right. So it's just a matter of pulling the strings off the bale. What kind of hay are we feeding the rams today? Just a, just a more grass hay uh, for the first cut, cut pretty early. And it's got a little bit of, uh, got a little bit of felt in it, you can see, screen. See? Once you pull the outer layer off. Green. Well, of course, I like to have it. But, uh, but the rams are in good condition and they're not doing anything at this time of year. So you don't you don't need uh, too much more than that. And very shortly, they'll be out on pasture, we're hoping. Show them how loose that hay is when you put it on the flat. Oh, it'll just fall apart. See, they pull it, it'll just fall apart. Right? It's actually, it's actually not that coarse. It's actually pretty nice. It smells real good. No mold. Huh? Oh, there's a string on that one still. Yeah, the old stuff out, but I'm actually eating it. Yeah, of course. When it's in the feeder, they don't eat it. They might think some might overlook that. Well, really, to be honest, the sheep are in fantastic shape. They uh, really don't need any green or anything, really. He's a pretty ram. Yeah, nice face on him. He's for sale. So, I'm gonna head over to come roll with him. And this, this little guy, he's for sale. He's a yearling ram. We kept back a bunch of smaller rams, uh, Suffolk rams this year. Still with really good conformation, good width, good length. But we uh, kept the height down a little bit just for commercial breeders, cause um, if you get a ram that's too big for the commercial sheep, uh, sometimes they have problems birthing. Felon! Okay, so there's Felon. And that's Felon's son, Geronimo, over there. So they look pretty, pretty similar. I 
And here comes General. They're searching for the last morsels of grain in the feeder, which there are none. Hey, Geronimo. Here comes a young lad. Geronimo wants your attention. Hey, you were always a show sheep, weren't you? You loved the show, didn't you? Hey, you loved getting up there. But I didn't like Russell, Arnie, when they put me in the bottom of the class. <laughs> and the next week, you went to the top of the class. Yeah. Just a judge, it's yeah? all about the judge, yeah. yeah. Well, I hear the lambs crying, so that's uh, my cue to go in and feed some bottles. And we'll say goodbye to these guys for now. You know, Kit's doing well when she's the one up on the bale. If you can't be the same size as your friends, you can get up on the bale and make yourself look bigger than them. She's, uh, she's come a long way. set up a little creep area for these guys so that they can start eating food now. So these guys have their manger fixed now and you see they can put their heads right in there without getting stuck. So that's a disaster averted there. Hi buddies, for those of you that didn't see yesterday's video, you can watch it if you'd like, but we took out every other bar in the feeder for the rams because uh, with their big heads and necks, uh, especially Gimli was getting his head stuck in there and uh, when that happens they can sometimes strangle. So. We had to do a little retrofit, and uh, now I, I'm guessing any barn that we breed in, we're gonna do the same to all the feeders and just give them more room. Because Gimli's the one in the middle, and he's a very wide ram, and he likes to have his head all the way in, as you can see. Just checking salt mineral feeders in here, and here's Chewy right at the beginning. She's probably going to be going in with um, probably Sheriff because she's a first timer. We try to put the first timers in with a ram that's a little bit smaller just uh, so that they can stretch out and stuff and have no problems lambing. And then they get the big guys like Gimli later. Hi Chewie. Chewie was the victim of um, a birthing accident, so she lost both of her ears. But she's doing just great. These guys are all in great shape for breeding. Probably will put the rams in here tomorrow supposed to be a rainy day we might actually get out for a walk today and uh, get these guys in breeding groups four breeding groups in here but they're all in perfect condition for breeding Nice body condition. You don't want them skinny. You don't want them fat. Here we are heading.
heading over to the coveralls to do chores. And we've let all the lambs out of one of the barns, one, one half anyway, of the barn, so that they can wander around, get some exercise. Clouds are rolling in, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to get away for a walk today or not. But these are the February lambs. No, they're not, actually. I couldn't figure out why there were dorsets in here. These are the January lambs. They've never been out before. Arnie, you must have surprised me with this. I was wondering if I'd notice. And to be honest, I didn't notice at first because I was trying to figure out why there was a dorset ram in there. But these are the big lambs. So this is the first time for them. They'll like this. Some of them are still by the gate when it's their first time and they are actually nervous about coming out so uh, we just leave the gates open while we do chores and they can just wander around because uh, we're selling to all kinds of uh, customers some will have indoor facilities and some will have outdoor and so we like our sheep to be accustomed to both so that they can adapt easily to any type of farm that they go to Kevin, you're, you're wandering really far because you're brave. Hi, Kevin. He's not with Karen anymore because she's on the girl's side. And we don't want him in this barn because he doesn't belong in this barn. So I'm going to go shut the gate. Just watching the lambs in the yard. Right beside me here with Katie is Kevin. Hey Kevin. Hey Kevin, how you doing? How you doing, Kev? Oh, you're so nice, Kevin. Aren't you gonna go play with those guys? Doesn't it look fun to be out with them? Instead of just sitting here. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. This is Ernie trying to figure out how to use the crook for catching sheep. Yeah, you look Scottish now. Don't let her go. Perfect. What number is she? Should I use my stick to measure how big she is? What what number is she? Cause she looks like a nice stocky one. Uh, 236. Uh, is that a good bite? Uh, <laughs> I got that on film. Sorry? I got it on film. Uh, now you look like a shepherd. Well, you look like Ernie oh, Shepherd. Uh, That's a, also a nice ewe lamb. Uh, you think it would hurt their leg, eh? But I guess if you go sl if you go slowly, it's okay. And then once you take the foot off, you see, you can't walk anymore, see? You're not hurting me. Dad, 
actually, it actually works quite good. Uh, I'm trying to uh, endorse it here. What number is that one? I see a big goofer with the one knot. Oh, is it? I was, was going to say he looks nice. Seven? Don't put him in mud. Is it 57? Hi, buddy. You're Just a little too heavy. Yeah, really nice. Look at his back number if it's 57. I'd not his tag number. 73. Oh, 73. You're a hefty little lad. There's a nice ewe lamb at the gate. Behind you. Oh, you might have caught her already. Yeah, she's, uh, I like that one. She's got a uh, black wool, maybe a little bit, but uh, she's heavy. This actually works really good. I never gave it a chance. I think if you hold on the feet, it's like this. Well, uh, where's my... Um, Really wide. Who's that guy? Hello? Oh, how you doing, John? <laughs> Get out, you guys. That was number three that uh, was upside down the other day. He's doing okay. Hi, buddy. Did you have an indignant experience being upside down? This ram is one that we're going to hold back. Actu actually, these two. 79. Yeah, this is the one that I like. This is, this is my 79. We're just checking him out to make sure that... Uh, Perfect bite. And is he's got two nuts? Yeah, perfect bite. Okay, so 79 is gonna stay in the keeper pen. He's really got a lot of bones. You can feel it right away when you grab him, eh? Yeah, I'm, I'm liking him. What's this dorsal right here? Is that number two? No. Oh, yeah, you, you, got, you gotta admit, that, that, that's, that's a bone. Really, oh, look at that. I'll, I'll kill there. there and, the and there's one he was with that was nice too. He was with that white one. Is that a good yeah, number two is going to make the cut too. For now, we will, because this is the first group we'll be sorting through. So, um, we'll hold a bunch through and as uh, the season goes on, some of them will fall apart. And there he is. <laughs> oh, is that a heavy guy? You, that's it, the heaviest ram I think we've ever had. That's from Felon. Oh, is that heavy? Oh, look at that. He's from Felon. So he's going to make the game. So Kit Kat and Caboodle are having a treat today because they got visitors. Maybe she wants to visitors. the other ones, does she? Should uh, she be in there? Maybe, and it, it, believe it or not, they do notice... Uh, might be easier to hold the bottle overhanded. He's holding it underhanded. Oh, it, hand it underneath should, the bottle. Yeah, it, it might be easier to hold that way. Yeah. I know. You wanted an autograph. Here, come 
No, none, none of those guys for sure. It's only the bottle babies. Um, this guy will. Pr oh, that one's already on there. Okay, here's one. Here's a taker. Yeah, well, he he's a greedy one again. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah. No, they're all, everybody's okay. I think everybody who needs some got some, but they drink it fast. Oh, and he's still got some there. Uh, yeah, I'd try the little one bit more. And you know what you should do? Gu guide his mouth onto the nipple, because that one's learning how to do it. Put your, make a fist and see what he does. And put pressure on him. <laughs> That's a ram thing. Kermit, you're so tough. You're so tough. Yeah, he's getting little. He's getting little horn stubs. They're called skurs. They won't go into real horns, but uh, some Dorsets will get uh, little tiny ones like that. And usually, if they fight, because rams want to butt sometimes, right? They'll knock them off. Kermit, what are you doing? Kermit's developing an attitude. And sheep are like um, dogs, I don't know. Uh, if uh, if you're going to pet them, go under first. Or try to go under. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and if you, if they get close enough and you can get this area, the chest, mm -hmm. they, they freeze. Like, it's like the magic spot. They just freeze. See, see how he's kind of gone into a little coma here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just standing there like Yeah, it's like, it's the magic spot. Dogs are like that too. Come on, where's Angel? She wanted to see Angel. She's in here somewhere. Angel! No, I thought that was, <laughs> that was Angel calling back like, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Angel, where are you? You got a whole cluster right behind you. <laughs> but I don't Hi. see Angel. What do you want? He's a brat. <laughs> he he used to be really little like that one in the barn that you <laughs> and and he'll you, you can still pick him up and he'll go on your knee. But he's kinda too big for it now. That's Wall Hello. that's Wally. Go uh, like I was telling your brother, pet under yeah, there you go. See how yeah, she it's she freeze. Yeah, it's the magic spot. Good. And see, because they're sheep, if they see one come over to you, then they'll all start coming. It's like fish. Yeah, <laughs> like fish. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I do a lot of fishing, so. Well, not really, but when I do go fishing, I do tend to know those quite a few things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do. They definitely have their behaviors, right? Come on. Come on, Big Betty. You can come over. Here she comes. Here's this is Big Betty. She's one of our old older girls. So they've seen the lambs, and now they're off. They're visiting uh, our neighbor's house. I figure we should start charging. <laughs> It's night time again, and another day is done. So we're going to say good night, and hope you'll join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now. <laughs>